so our study is called Relativity 047, and it is a global phase three trial that compared relatlimab plus nivolumab versus nivolumab alone for patients with previously untreated, unresectable, or metastatic melanoma. Uh, and so the background is that over the last decade or so, drugs that target immune checkpoints like PD-1 uh, have dramatically improved survival rates for patients with a wide variety of cancers, uh, including melanoma. And in order to build on this success and to develop novel combination regimens uh, that are both safe and effective, we combine two medicines. Uh, relatlimab is the first. Uh, it's often called Rela for short. And that blocks an immune checkpoint called LAG3, um, which is a, a, a checkpoint that's sort of new on, on the scene, uh, although this study uh, goes a long way toward validating it as a, uh, an effectively uh, effective uh, targeting cancer. Uh, Rela in this study was combined with nivolumab, uh, often called Nevo, uh, which, uh, which we know blocks PD-1. And uh, although these two drugs work uh, on distinct pathways, LAG3 and PD-1 are distinct immune checkpoints, both of them have a common goal, which is to unleash an attack by immune T cells uh, against cancer. Uh, so supporting this approach were both uh, preclinical and clinical studies. Uh, the preclinical studies demonstrated synergy between blockade of both of these pathways. Clinically, and this was compelling, we saw that administration of, of Rela plus Nevo, the, the combination to patients with uh, melanoma that had already progressed through anti-PD-1 alone, uh, led to tumor regressions. So we saw that the combo was effective in patients whose tumors had already progressed through, say, uh, nivolumab by itself. So this was a uh, global uh, randomized registrational study, as I said, that compares uh, Rela plus Nevo to Nevo monotherapy. Uh, trial patients had uh, previously untreated, unresectable, or metastatic melanoma uh, and received either the combo or nivolumab by itself. Uh, I should say that the two drugs combined uh, were in what's called a fixed dose combination, uh, abbreviated FDC. So a fixed dose combination really just means that Rela and Nevo together were prepared in the same medication vial, and then they were administered as a single intravenous infusion. And it was done so in order to reduce preparation and infusion times and to minimize the risk of administration errors. So from a methodologic standpoint, the study's primary endpoint was progression-free survival, or PFS as it's known, uh, which we measure as the length of time between starting therapy and either tumor growth or patient death. And it's important to note that on this study, uh, changes in tumor size that we saw on imaging were assessed by a group of independent blinded radiologists. So this was not a an investigator uh, assessed outcome. This was a, a blinded radiolo a panel of radiologists. Uh, secondary endpoints for the trial include overall survival and objective response rate. Although I should say that as of ASCO 2021, both the study sponsor and us, the trial investigators, remain blinded to those outcomes. And that is part of the statistical design of the study. Uh, the median progression-free survival on our study of patients who received Rela plus Nevo was 10.1 months, and that was more than double that of the group that received Nevo by itself. Uh, the PFS there was 4.6 months. So this was a significant improvement, and it also meant that the uh, study met its primary endpoint, the PFS endpoint. The hazard ratio on the study was 0.75 with a p-value of 0.0055. And what we saw was that the progression-free survival benefit appeared relatively early in the course of therapy. If you look at the PFS curves, you'll see that they separate at the 12-week point, which was at the time of the first on-treatment imaging. And the separation of those curves is sustained throughout the median length of follow-up of the study, which is approximately 13 months. That is a great question. Uh, in order to answer that, I need to discuss a little bit about toxicity, which is, of course, a concern anytime you're combining immune checkpoint blockers. Um, generally, the treatment-related adverse events that were associated with the combination with Rela plus Nevo 
were manageable and they reflected, as you might imagine, the typical safety profile that we see uh, with immune checkpoint inhibitors generally. The incidence of grade three, four treatment related adverse events was higher with Rela plus Nebo uh, than it was with Nebo alone. Although it's worth noting that the adverse events here occurred at a lower rate than has been observed with other immunotherapy combinations. Uh, so for example, uh, treatment related adverse events that led to discontinuation of trial therapy occurred in 14.6% of patients in the Rela plus Nebo group and only in 6.7% of patients receiving Nevo by itself. So in answer to your question about where this fits into treatment paradigms for patients with advanced melanoma, I think the, the take home message here is that Rela plus Nevo administered to previously untreated, uh, unresectable uh, or metastatic melanoma patients uh, led to a significant improvement in progression-free survival when compared with Nevo alone. And the combination demonstrated a manageable safety profile. We saw a lower rate of serious toxicities that were related to therapy uh, relative to other immune checkpoint inhibitor combinations. And so I think if you take those two things together, what we, uh, what we come away with is that Rela plus Nevo is uh, potentially a novel treatment option, uh, first line treatment option for this patient population. Uh, I should say too, importantly, that this is the first phase three study to validate inhibition of the LAG3 immune checkpoint as a therapeutic strategy for patients with cancer. And uh, this goes quite a long way in establishing LAG3 uh, as, a, a, as a, a pathway that can be inhibited uh, to, um, to provide clinical benefit to patients. This is the third immune checkpoint pathway in history, in fact, after CTLA-4 and PD-1, uh, where we can demonstrate that blockade has clinical benefit.